How do you want to die? I don't mean the cause of your demise, be it of old age or surfing a tsunami. I mean how, as in what state? Do you want to age physically and cognitively fit and functional, or deteriorate into physical fragility and a cognitive haze? I hope the answer is pretty obvious, but I did want you to picture that in your mind, because you have a choice. We often think of these things as out of our control, that our genes dictate our fate, whether we're lucky enough to end up like Salma Hayek at age 57, or Ralph Macchio, the Karate Kid, at age 62. I know, the Karate Kid 62 blows my mind too. Versus ending up like Ted Cruz at age 53. I know, I know, politics, but let's be real, who do you want to be like health span wise? I think the answer is pretty obvious. Hashtag Karate Kid. Anyway, while I can't gift you with Selma Hayek's breasts, I went there, or Ralph Macchio's famous crane kick, or Ted Cruz's mutton chops, for that matter, thank goodness, I can promise you it's within your control to leverage our growing understanding of physiology to improve health span and maybe, just maybe, improve lifespan too. In this video, I want to talk about impressive new data data in Nature, one of the top science journals in the world that shows how a particular inflammatory signaling molecule, interleukin-11 or IL-11 for short, contributes to aging and how blocking IL-11 can improve aging quality and, at least in animals, extend lifespan substantially. I'll also mention right up front, I initially began digging into this literature after I became aware of products being developed to target IL-11, and I will plug these at the end. However, I first First want to build a case for potentially investing in these products. In the end, all I want is your curiosity and attention. What you do with your dollars after the fact is totally up to you. Now, let's begin for real. Aging is associated with maladaptive changes in the immune system, including changes in levels of circulating inflammatory molecules. One of these is IL-11. IL-11 is upregulated across tissues and organs with age, and activates aging-associated cascades that are known to be activated in older people, older humans. Now, impressively, genetic knockout of interleukin-11, IL-11, leads to improvements in health span, many improvements in health span. So take a look at these mice. These older mice, they're the same age, 105 weeks old, which is pretty old for mice. But the one on the left lacks IL-11, and as a result is leaner, is stronger, is far less frail, and is overall much metabolically healthier. The aged IL-11 knockout mouse even has longer telomeres, the safeguard caps on our chromosome as compared to age control mice. Telomeres are kind of like the aglets on the end of the chromosome shoelace, and they protect our DNA as we age, and they shorten as we age. And so IL-11 of a knockout extending telomeres is a marker of actually extending biological age. Now, as an aside, but an important one for those really versed in longevity science, because I do like to be intellectually rigorous, these data were collected in genetically heterogeneous mice. Basically, what this means is the mice weren't inbred, and this improves the probability of relevance to humans. Anyway, the researchers also found that neutralizing IL-11 with an IL-11 targeting antibody similarly improved measured elements of health span, which you can see here. Point being, you don't need to be genetically modified, which is kind of hard in humans at the moment. Blocking interleukin-11 does just as well. Now that we've discussed health span, what about lifespan? Indeed, blocking IL-11 increased lifespan in both male and female mice, even if treatment was started when the mice were 75 weeks old, which is the equivalent of about 50 years human years. Anti-11 treatment still extended median lifespan by 25%, which is stunning. Now, the big question, how do you inhibit IL-11 with ingredients available to you? Well, three ingredients have been shown to assist in inhibition of IL-11. Quercetin, sulforaphane, and berberine. Quercetin can inhibit the activation of STAT3, which is a key pathway in IL-11 signaling. And berberine has demonstrated anti-inflammatory effects and has the ability to inhibit various cytokines and signaling pathways that impact IL-11. And sulforaphane is known for its anti-inflammatory properties and for its ability to inhibit the activation of NF-kappa B and STAT pathways, which again are involved in IL-11 signaling. Now, I did promise I'd offer you a product for your consideration. This IL-11 inhibitor bundle from Do Not Age contains these three ingredients. Now, the reason this is a bundle, not a single item, not a single package, is because the company actually assembled this bundle based on these brand new data in nature, generating basically a 
physiologically focused, first of its kind approach to decrease IL-11 in humans. Again, based on focusing on root cause physiology. I did do a lit review and dosing analysis, and this combination they're providing I think is pretty compelling. It's compelling enough even that I'm having my own mother start it. So if you want to subscribe to this bundle, just subscribe to this channel and then use the discount code STAYCURIOUS10 for 10% off on their website. Well, actually, technically you don't need to subscribe to this channel, but I'd appreciate it if you did, if you found this breakdown interesting. Anyway, I wanna ask again, how do you want to die? And if the answer is like Ralph Macchio and not like Ted Cruz, then maybe think about ways to inhibit IL-11 signaling. Anyway, stay curious and I hope to see you around for the next video.